Hey guys, Jason here with Alligator Performance. Today we're here to talk about common wear items that happen on the front end of the Duramaxes. What I'm talking about is either the wheel hub assembly, CV axles. So what I've noticed with this, um, over the last couple weeks, I've been noticing a random clunking in the front end. The steering feels a little loose in the freeway. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it up on the lift today, find out what the problem is, and then go ahead and fix it. All right, we've got the truck up in the air now. I do have the luxury of a lift to get this up on. You can also do this with just jack stands and a jack in your driveway to make sure it's safety first. So, start checking this out. First thing I'm gonna check is basically for wobble in the wheel, front, back, top to bottom. There's actually a lot of play in this hub. So this pretty much shows the wheel hub shot. So we're gonna start off by taking the brake caliper off, and actually what we wanna do is then tie it up, just to get it up out of the way, and then keep the, you know, from running, <laughs> holding off the lines too much, so let's get it off. This is also a good time to inspect your brakes while you're here too. All right, now that that's out of the way, what we have is four bolts on the back side of the assembly here that actually holds the whole caliper and the hub on. So we'll start by taking that off. Also, you do have your ABS wire here. Make sure you disconnect this before you pull the hub off or else you're gonna be trying to hold it in the air. Oh, this unplug is real simple. All right, you also have to take this little dust cover off to be able to access the nuts on the inside, which then allow the whole hub to come off in the CV. And with that, off comes the old hub. Okay, now since I'm here, and since I actually know I have a torn CV axle boot on the other side, I'm actually going to have to replace the old CV axles while I'm here. <laughs> Replacing both the CV axles and the wheel hub assembly with is just stock replacement parts. We haven't really found a big need to go with any sort of big aftermarket parts. These seem to hold up just fine even on our 1,000 horsepower trucks. What's up, dude? Go doing UCAs? No, I'm doing a wheel hub. You should do UCAs too. Yeah. While you're in there. It's only a couple hundred more bucks. Stop it. I don't need to spend a couple hundred more bucks. <laughs> Dude, you might as well. <laughs> Lucky for me, you just happen to have stock of Cognito UCA kits. All right, since I got to talk to them doing up patrol arms, I'm going to start by assembling them before I put them on the truck. So I'm just going to start real simple and start putting the grease zerks in each end. All right, next we're going to assemble the bushings and slide them into the end as well. Start by adding a little bit of lubricant to it. Okay, next we're going to install the ball joints into the control arm itself. We're also going to install brand new bump stops into the control arm. Okay, now what we're doing is putting a little bit of grease in the actual ball joint itself. Um, you can actually see, you want to hold that again, Shane? Crap the grease gun. Um, you can actually see the boot moving a little bit, so it shows it's full of grease. All right, so here we finished assembly of the driver's side upper control arm. We got the bump stops in, got all the bushings in, grease zerks, and installed the brand new ball joint and lubed it up. So now we're moving on to the other side. All right, now that we have the new upper control arm fully assembled, we're going to have to remove the old one, so we'll start by doing that. All right, I almost got the separate control arm out. This one's being a little bit stubborn. This last bolt here is going to do is get the old punch and hammer to try to persuade it. And it looks like that worked. And with that, out comes the old control arm. 
All right, we now have the upper control arm loosely set in here. You'll notice earlier I made little marks on these tabs. What that actually does is going to control the camber, which is basically the this way of your tire. So basically what you want to do is make sure you line the tabs back up to the marks you made earlier so you can at least basically get it back in alignment. You're going to have to take this to an alignment shop anyways, but at least you can be pretty close. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure you torque these to proper specs. You don't want suspension parts coming loose on you. The spec in this 100 foot-pounds. Get the wrench here. Get it tell beeps. All right, now we're getting ball joint back into the spindle here. Since this whole lower control arm is under tension from the torsion bar, the part of the suspension, I'm using a transmission jack here just to ever so slightly pick everything up. Basically, we can go ahead and get the castle nut and the washer on there. All right, to finish that up there, I put in the castle nut with the supplied cotter pin to make sure the nut doesn't back off at all. And pretty much that wraps up the upper control arm kit. Um, I have to go ahead and just reattach the brake lines, supplied hardware. Now we can continue on with the rest of the CV axle replacement and the wheel hub replacement. All right, got the CV axle fished up in here and Start to get it bolted up now. We're going to, of course, torque it down to spec, which is 55 foot pounds. So we'll do that. All right, so what we have to do is we actually have to pop out the old hub assembly from the brake rotor itself. And do that, of course, for an easy old trusty press. And All right, now that we have the Brake rotor pressed off, we're gonna go ahead and put the new hub on. Make sure you get the dust shield back on first. Then simply just reinstall the bolts back on the back end of it. Now you want to make sure you go ahead and torque on your base of the wheel hub to the knuckle bolts good and tight. It goes to 133 foot pounds what it's spec for. So of course we're going to break out the big torque wrench for that. Okay, the same is going to go for the big nut here. Um, it goes down to 177 foot pounds. So I'm going to get it on, start it with the impact gun, and then we'll final torque with the torque wrench. All right, so now we got the wheel hub on and all bolted up nice and tight. Start putting brakes back on. <laughs> all right, the next step is to go ahead and torque down the brake calipers themselves. These you actually do want a big torque wrench for. The spec is 221 foot pounds, so make sure you get them tight so you don't have brake fall off. All right, and that pretty much all but wraps up the wheel hub installation, the CV axle installation, along with the new Cognito upper right. control arms. All I have left to do is go ahead and hook up the factory sensors for the ABS controller, and that's it. But as you can see, this is actually a pretty easy installation that. Pretty much anybody can do as long as you have a good set of tools for it. Okay. If you have any questions, just contact us either at our website, Facebook, or on the phone. Okay.